Hey guys. Ooh. Sorry for all of that, you know? Pretty lame, huh? Let's keep moving though. K-R-I-S-T-Y. So if you're here, and you're from YouTube, or you have no idea what's going on, like me, um, I was doing this giveaway. Not a giveaway. $10 t-shirts on Instagram, and I got a bunch of them, over 100 of them here to paint. And I was doing them live on Instagram, and then everything, like, kind of, just, kind of broke. Completely broke. Um, but, now, I think we're good to go. Everything's fine. Got it on YouTube now. Hopefully the audio is good. I tested it a little bit. I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna get started. K R I S T Y. Sorry, it took me so long to get back over here. I forgot that I moved. I swapped my computers and all of my streaming software and setup was on my other computer, which I moved. And I literally had to re-download every program that I used to stream. It was a disaster. But here we are. We're back. This is 8872. Order number 8872. Green. I was supposed to have another camera. Kind of like it was over there in the corner. But would you believe it or not? It didn't work like I was supposed to. But, it's okay. As long as we're making some progress. Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry about the, the cluster that just happened. Good to see you guys, though. Glad I get to do this. Glad you guys are so patient with me. Chapone Jr. Shirt says stay calm and airbrush on. Well. Chapone Jr. again. I'm not supposed to be painting the same one over and over. I'll do it sometime. What was that? Let me smack the camera with my forehead. That was cool. Studios. Um, that's what I'm focusing on this year. That's what I'm doing. There's gonna be a lot more video. There's been a lot of distractions so far this year. And after tax season, holy cow, um, I'll have a little more time and be focused again. But this year is going full YouTube mode. I'm gonna make 
all of the videos. My like primary goal was like making videos. So it's not not like the the secondary goal, make videos of what I can when I have the orders. The primary goal is gonna be like, alright, let's make sweet videos. What can I paint to make sweet video with? It's gonna be good. The old stoner, how you doing man? The OG YouTube supporter. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Most of the you're gonna see a lot of traffic coming from Instagram today. Hopefully. Hopefully everybody comes over. If not, it's gonna be real weird. Um S H A L L Wow. Shalah. L A H Y A. sale where I was selling all these shirts that you see in here for 10 bucks each which is a super low price for like everybody's shirts lowest I've ever offered at least and the community really pulled together and bought over 100 of them like 120 I think something like that and I said I would do them all live that, that was like part of the whole deal is that I'll paint them all live on Thursday didn't expect to get quite this many so I'm gonna be busy for a little while here, a couple hours, but um, that's what we're here for. Another group order. I forgot there was another group order. That's okay. Youth small. I guess I gotta do these in order anyway. Pardon me as I talk to myself more than I usually talk to myself. You know, I do that sometimes. I feel a lot better knowing you guys are listening to the music in the background. Should I come up with the levels? I can't hear it from you guys' ears. I can only hear it from my side of things. I'm just guessing at the volume. It's still blurry. It, no, it shouldn't be blurry anymore. I think it's blurry, that's on you. Artwork placement black back. That. Where can you write a private message? You can go to my Instagram account, write me a DM there. You could go to my website. You can hit the link in the description, the direct me uh, link. You can send me a message through that. However you want to. C A S Castaneda. all you guys when you get these shirts tag me in some pictures I have a whole team of them purple not pink purple there's no way it's still blurry I have 900 meg down I granted that's not the upload speed but I have 40 meg up. There's no way. If it is, I'm gonna be very grumpy. Grumpy and confused. Stream is not blurry. Okay. I'm gonna stop worrying about it. Not changing it now anyway, it is what it is. It includes signature. Nice. 
I see that the volume level is a little low. Um, OBS, the Streamlabs version of OBS doesn't let you put a gain on any of your microphones. You can lower it, but you can't, you can't go more than 0 dB, which is really weird. Almost any software lets you bump it up. 0 is like mid-range, not the max. I could have downloaded more software, but I was in a hurry. I'm trying to get back on this. I'm supposed to be like halfway done by now. I feel like I'm taking everybody's time off. I feel bad. Big amps on the front. Youth large. I do have a granola bar. I think I'm gonna eat a granola bar. And a little big. The boy's hungry. D A H L I A. No pink blue. It's a trans. It's create text for you. Create text bright blue. I always reduce my paint a little bit, so you're getting that reduced paint. Somebody's asking if this is my full-time job. It is. Pretty much all every aspect of this is my full-time job. Making shirts is one part. Making videos is the other part. I'm trying to transition more into the making videos part, paying the bills than the shirts, but. You gotta do both. Right? I can't do one without the other. Um, yeah, I've been doing this for 12 years, 13 years, professionally. Started out at a theme park, a little airbrush stand out of nowhere. Didn't know what I was doing. I'm um, working for another company, and after that season ended, I had no job for a little while. Um, so I just decided I would try to spool up a company with an online website, you know, as opposed to an offline website. And, uh, it worked out. At first it was really slow. I had to open up a shop in the mall also to like help get enough 
<laughs> business to stay afloat. But as it grew, as I worked on my search engine optimization skills, etc., it started to get big enough to where I didn't need that shop mall. I could focus on the website and focus on eventually making videos. And now the videos are what drives most of the traffic to the site. And the next step is to get enough traffic on these videos so that I don't have to do shirts all the time. I can paint my own artwork instead and make like, you know, YouTube money. My plan is all coming together. It is taking a long time, but that's okay. All right, Levi. Team to rub my website. I wish I had a team to run my website. No, I do everything. Um, as of late, I've had an artist or two at a time helping me paint stuff. I've been outsourcing some of my orders, but I still manage everything. So I really do need to find some some help in that department. I've always had a hard time delegating. And a hard time paying other people to do what I know I can do myself. And I think that's been a good thing. I wouldn't be able to build this website. I wouldn't have this business if it was just because I was good at airbrush. There were so many other things that were important to make this work. Um, I've had to solve so many problems. Anytime you start a business or like want to do something cool, you're going to have to overcome problem after problem. And if you can't solve your own problems and you always rely on someone else to solve problems, then you're gonna have a hard time with everything that you do. So, you know, it's okay to like have to take your time sometimes. What number are we at? Sorry, you won't forget. 8874. This one's for Ashley Henry, who is apparently the queen. and my son are out of town. They left me because of some man's birthday. They went to go see her. But uh, I'm still wearing shirt. shirt. <laughs> I can't talk. Hold on. Give me a second. The point is I'm alone in this house by myself today and yesterday. So for dinner last night, I had a carrot. I had one raw carrot. It was actually, at first it was like, man, this is a crunchy carrot. Hard to eat, but by the time I got to the end of that carrot, I got um, that was a pretty good carrot. Y'all ever just munch a bunch of crunchy carrots sometimes? <laughs> hey Dylan, what's up? Shout out to Nan. <laughs> Do I heat press my shirts? Yes, every one of these shirts is going to be pressed with love and care so that the artwork does not wash out immediately. Like everyone kind of thinks that it does. I get a lot of comments saying, one wash and that shirt's gone. It's not true, man. It doesn't happen. If that was the case, I would never sell shirts. You know? I wouldn't rip people off like that. Now we press it with a commercial heat press. That paint is part of the fabric now. It's not going to wash away. It will fade over time just like any shirt will. It's not going to last forever, but it will last. Front. Save the planet. 
I can do that. Well, not personally. I'm trying to read these comments as best as I can as I'm going. But, uh, I can't just stand here for 30 seconds while I read a comment. Gotta keep it moving. Green, include artist signature. That's certain. that every one of these airbrush paints smell different. I could walk in the room and someone else could be painting. I could have my eyes closed and I could tell you what color they're using. It's like those scratch and sniff markers. But it's but it's not. I'll do a couple blacklight designs when the um, when the colors are right. I got to use certain colors, so if I get one with the right stuff, then I'll do a couple more. A L A Y A H. Talking about that, I know what you're talking about. The, um, that mask in the blue and yellow shirt. You wear that thing all the time still. That might be the oldest shirt that I know of that's still circulating, like that I painted personally. I still have some really old ones, but you've been wearing that shirt for literally nine years and you're right it doesn't look faded at all there's some proof and it was a blue shirt it wasn't a white shirt
glad you guys can see in the video, like, the shirts that are happening over there. I'm not just, like, disappearing for a minute. Alright, this one's got some notes I gotta read. If possible, on the back, on the butt, one hand print on each side, as if it was grabbing somebody down on the booty. I'm sorry, man. I can't do all that. I don't have that. That'd be a 10 minute shirt. We're looking for a one minute shirt. It just says Kebs. Oh, okay. As in, like, belongs to Keb. videos we will refer to this as cone. What color is it again? Red and pink for Valentine's Day. That's coming up, isn't it? When's Valentine's Day? February something. I only care about that because Valentine's Day is a pretty good airbrush holiday. Marketing wise. People like to buy their cheesy couples t-shirts. Don't be fooled, I'm fully aware that airbrush t-shirts, um, they got their own aesthetic, you know? I do this for a living, and I would not walk around with just a, a generic airbrush t-shirt, unless it was like an occasion that was supposed to be funny, a gag gift or something, I don't know. Not to talk bad about my own daggone product, but uh, it is what it is. I would much rather do like posters or something that you would want to hang up in a room or you know murals. Murals is what it really is. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, the videos that I make this year are going to, after I make some actual tutorials, how to airbrush type videos, like actually not just watch me paint something, but look, this is how you airbrush. This is what you need to buy in like a really legit tutorial series. Then the next videos I'm gonna start making are some smaller, cooler artwork projects, and then some murals. Cause I got some places I want to put some murals in my house, and hopefully the plan is that those will start to like spool up uh, real mural jobs. I'm not kidding. The dream has always been like for me to travel around and just paint murals. And I'll be like I made it when that happens. Cincinnati Bengals. I'm gonna get muted. Cincinnati. How do you spell that? Cincinnati. Ready to join the party? Any graffiti artists inspire you? Shu? Bangsy? Shlo? Shlo? I can't remember my resolutions weird, I can't see it. Um, technically, like hundreds do, because on, on Instagram, my Instagram feed is just full of graffiti art. Um, Bangsy is great and everyone likes and stuff, I personally don't. Uh, it's cool, but he, the statements he makes is is really cool, not necessarily a fan of his artwork. B E N G A L S. I forgot to type the name. B E N G A L S. Right? G A L S. Not to downplay anything he's doing or whatever, but he's doing stencils on everything real fast. It's not like he's out there painting a wall in the same kind of style of artwork that a lot of other artists are doing great in his own in his own right. What's he doing? That's just different. 
in this um, quick signature orange paint. There's a lot of really good ones. I'm gonna I'm terrible with remembering names, especially when I'm trying to think about Lisa. But Smo is my favorite. He's a good dude. He's helped me out with a lot of stuff and advice over the years. That was really good. There's a couple YouTubers that I really like. Uh, Resk. 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 What is this? Resk 42? Maybe that number. Um, Kipto is cool. I don't, I don't know. There's so many more. Rake. Rake is one. What's his name? They always got a number and I always forget the number associated with the name. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. If you do, put it in the comments. Like, trying to do some when I'm talking about murals most of that all right what do I want to say here I'm gonna do a lot of airbrush work and murals work on my murals right but I also want to start using a spray can a lot more because it is very similar to airbrushing it does uh, translate over pretty well I just need to gain a little more experience with it. The thing is I can't paint with a spray can inside because it doesn't matter how good my ventilation system is, which is not on right now. I forgot to turn my vents on. Um, dust will get everywhere in the whole room. We'll smell like spray paint and be covered in dust. And I've already lived that life. I'm done with the dusty life. I'm also done with clogged airbrushes. There are a whole lot of artists. I need to watch more, like, longer format videos. Tesh. Tesh is another good one. Vitality Tesh. size they bought out of 120 something shirts I think there was about 35 extra larges and the runner-up was I think 18 larges 2xl on the front lime green Nikki Davis order number eight 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 seven nine N-I-K-K-I Couldn't bring me any food, dude. I told you to bring me back some food when he got here. That's 
all right. I got a microwave dinner ready for me. As in, still in the freezer. I got plans when this is over. Um, what's that game called? I forgot the name of it. Uh, Zenith or whatever. It's a VR MMO. Came out today. I'm a I'm a VR enthusiast. Virtual reality. And the uh, Zenith has been upcoming for a long time. It's supposed to be. It looks really cool. It's a, like the first legitimate big MMO type of game. A JRPG, if you will. And, uh, I'm gonna play it. With my luck, all the servers will be down and it won't work, but I'm gonna try. Hot pockets for. I don't even have hot pockets. Zach might have some hot pockets. Zach, I'm, I'm gonna steal your hot pockets. Gotcha. Oh, this is funny. I've been waiting to paint this one. I tried to contact this person. She didn't respond. Um. <laughs> it, it says, I'm an addict for your love, but it's spelled <laughs> like, like the addict, you know? <laughs> so, look, man, as much as people have ordered over the years and I've come to them and like, hey, did you spell this wrong? Most of the time, they're like, no, I did it on purpose. So, I'm going to paint it as it is. I think that you're probably responsible for spell checking your own order when you type it in. I'm an addict. Should I put a roof over the word addict? They would be mad. At tick. <sighs> For your love. Also, this is supposed to be like one word or two words, not a verse of song lyrics. You are my drug. I hope these are song lyrics. And not like her genuine... I feel like I'm being offended. I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you. I gotta have some fun. I painted a lot of t-shirts in my day. I kinda make fun of them. You are my drug. Why did I do that? Why did I choose to do a hard outline on this whole thing? I'm not gonna. What can I do? I still have to. There was way better ways I could have accented this order. doing this anyway. That's not what I wanted. You spelled addict wrong. My friends made fun of me. Man. I want my ten dollars back. Man. I really do appreciate my customers of Ross. Where's the mediums? Jeremiah. Did you just call my M lazy? Yeah, that M was kind of kind of goofy. I need to spend just a second. I'm gonna take a second to fix this black. It's not been flowing smooth. It's making me sad. I overfilled the bottle, which doesn't give it room to breathe properly. It also doesn't have enough producer in it. 
gonna read some comments while I do this. We support the green movement over here. I got nothing wrong with the green movement around here. Eight eight nine four. How far away are we? We're at eight 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 one nine four. Is thirteen orders to go. That's gonna be like at least a half an hour, probably. What's the word written on 8894? That'll help me remember when I get there. Jeremiah. I'm not trying to do it. I'm, I'm going to do this one because it was a question. Like, but I'm, weed leaf or not, I'm not going to do a bunch of custom stuff on all these because I'll be here forever. J-E-R-E-M-I-A-H. graffiti artists throw halos on stuff I want to be cool too yeah typically all right where do I want to start with this painting in front of people live was always like the hardest thing to do when I worked at that theme park when I worked at the shop you get nervous as people are watching you, especially when they're watching you paint their order. You feel like they're judging you. But after a while, you start kind of getting the hang of it. You realize that people aren't really judging you nearly as much as they're like excited to watch the thing. Um, and that's what inspired me to like start doing live streams and make the video. I forgot this picture again. But regardless, it's still kind of weird to paint in front of customers live. Like, I don't mind painting random orders all the time, but when I'm painting someone's order, and I know that they're watching me paint that order, especially over the internet, it gives them all of the opportunity and room in the world to be like, I don't like it, or you should do this, or you should change this. It very rarely ever happens, but it's still like, you know, everyone's invincible on the other side of the keyboard. <laughs> especially if, like, they're your customer. It puts you in a weird spot. And I definitely just faced that head on by saying, hey, everybody, watch me paint your stuff. A super chat. Thanks, Brittany. It doesn't count. That's my wife. <laughs> it's good to see the super chats work, though, because no one's giving me a super chat. I'm lazy. Just kidding. I love you guys. Thank you so much. For real, um, first of all, answer that question, the theme park was Kings Dominion in Virginia. But this whole thing, this whole $10 t-shirt idea was a, something I came up with a couple weeks ago because we were in a pickle, like a legitimate pickle. Claws in your crunchy dill pickle, where we just like, the money stopped flowing in for a little while because of like holiday, people stop buying stuff and whatever. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm not going to be able to pay our bills right now. So like, I know what I'll do. I'll sell a bunch of t-shirts really cheap. Everyone will buy them real quick. And I'll make enough money to pay our mortgage. And well, by golly, it worked. Just enough money to pay the mortgage. The, the fact that I could be like, hey guys, I need some help. Please buy some t-shirts. Let's make this happen. And I can spool up the... The excitement that we got and everything that's heard from it, I feel like we're in a really good spot. Now, hopefully I don't have to ever ask for monetary support again. Hopefully that will come natural if we add revenue on videos. No one has to give me money directly. They can just watch my videos and that'll be enough. I'm on the way there. Not there yet. And I'm... I guess it's cool to know, or at least I hope that you do know that every time you buy a shirt, every time you do a super chat, every it's genuinely appreciated and genuinely needed. And like it's not going unrecognized. Even if I don't call you out and I forget or something, like or I don't see a comment. Thank you. you know, always I feel real lucky to be here. To be 
able to do this money or not like being able to have an audience watching me do what i love doing is really great it's really cool okay oh sweet jesus is king this one Truer words have never been spoken. Dylan, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you for the support. Ten bucks. That's enough to buy a, a DoorDash and Chick-fil-A sandwich right now. I wouldn't include the tip. Guys, guys, shout um, a real, real note right now. Tip your DoorDash drivers. If you don't want to go out in the cold to pick up your Chick-fil-A, neither does the person going out in the cold picking up your Chick-fil-A. Just like you tip your waiters. I know it's a weird American thing that we do, tipping our servers, and like it's different everywhere else, but here you are in America. Tip your servers. Tip your DoorDash drivers. They are out here battling the elements because you don't want to put on pants. And honestly, like the, the amount of orders that they go through and how quickly they, they are trying to get everything out as fast as they can, and, you know, they're diligently working. It's not just an easy job where you go pick up your thing and move on. You actually have to strategize and you have to plan and you have to care about your... They're, they're working for you, not just like idly driving. I know from personal experience. And it means a lot. Uh, like two, three bucks on an order or something. Times as many orders as they do. It goes a long way, dude. Just throw them, throw them five bucks, man. Helps them out. Dropping stuff. Let me read a comment. Meet him. Thunder. <laughs> this one just says thunder. Will you be able to watch this later? I saw this in that comment from a while ago. So yes, I'm going to post this. And I'm also going to post a link to it from Instagram because this was supposed to be an Instagram thing in the first place. Okay, here's a situation. They wanted the script text, the cursive style text, but they wrote their text in all caps. You cannot write cursive in all caps. So what I'm going to do is essentially write my capital version of script, which is the other style. So. Alright, so improvements for next time is definitely have someone helping me board these as I go so that I can move quicker, but also, like, I don't know, limit it to like just the cool design, and just the, not, I mean like, thunder, that's a cool word, it looks good as a thing. Like as as a, as a actual visual word, it's fast. But then like writing all these other ones that are like the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't care about the Cincinnati Bengals. The rest of the orders actually look really good. They're like more one name type of deals. It's weird how I did this for a week 
offer was up for a week, and I can see over that week that there's been like a different different type of people ordered at different times. At the beginning, those type of people seem to have seen a sale and like immediately bought shirts that they were already thinking about buying. Like you got a bunch of people buying Valentine's Day shirts and shirts that are like for brands and whatever. It seems like everyone jumped on and got it like a really good sale on shirts. And then later throughout the week, more orders came in that had like thought about it. They saw the order and they saw the deal. They thought about it. I'm like, all right, this is what I want to buy. So the, the orders seem to get cooler over time. Pink letters with turquoise outline. Okay, I did say that the letters have to be black, but I forget this. Grace. I think like 50 shirts or something would have probably been a better number. There's so many that I don't feel like I can take a whole lot of time to make them all special. And no one's going to watch this whole thing. This is not going to Greg Brown! With twenty dollars. Holy cow, man! Thank you, sir. <laughs> wow, that's a world record. Well, it's a it's a Dale record. It's not a world record. Thank you, thank you, Greg. Have I messed up a shirt? No, I don't mess up shirts. That said, yes, I messed up the first shirt. I had um, put the wrong, I used the wrong font, I think, on the first shirt. This is why, I guess it looks good in the video, the text is usually better when the text is darker color not the lighter color, because it just stands out more. More contrast, it's more legible, just looks nicer. That's still really wet. I guess I have to wait for that. It still looks good. It still looks fine, but I would typically like to do, if I had the choice on that, the turquoise text with a pink outline instead of the other way around. RP lunch money. Melissa, on the front, please add a crown and some flowers, make it girly. Dylan, stop it. This isn't a competition. But actually, you can compete all you want to. Just kidding, don't do that. Melissa. How about some tips from people that I don't know in real life? I don't want my friends giving me money, man. I was paid for the shirts. The plan was to have the the shirts pay for the for the thing. Man, I used the wrong font. Like, well, you said make it girly. That's why I did that. You want a crown and flowers. All right. I'm keeping it. Some people, a lot of people tip on top of it. I know. The order. A lot of people round it up. Add some flowers, too.
read me chat. Flowers. What kind of? I'm gonna do a. I don't know my flowers. What kind of flower is this, guys? I guess this is a challenge. Now I have to paint it good enough so you know what flower is. Oh, it's already kind of wonky-ish. Supposed to have six petals. I think that's why I messed it up. I did this type of flower because it looks good in purple and turquoise. Daisy or something would be really easy, but I'm not using those colors right now. Aquarius Brown, can you give me a, an order number? If you give me an order number, I will be happy to add some, what is it? Add some purple, yeah. Just so I have an idea of like how far along I'll be when it comes to that shirt. There's over 100 shirts here, I might forget. I got a little notepad here beside me of changes that people have made in the stream so far. Two two. Live stream is growing the whole time. <laughs> it is doing it. It's direction I like it to go. Ow. I'm nowhere near these like these Fortnite kids though. I don't think I'll ever beat a Fortnite stream. Or a Minecraft stream, you know? And Twitch, I've tried Twitch so many times I cannot get people to watch me on Twitch. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. That's okay. It's not a Twitch thing. Brit's Nail Drip. Okay. This is a um, 8886. Since when do I sign my tees? Just today. Um, the little form for the, the $10 deals had a little checkbox. Do you want me to sign it or not? I'm not signing everybody. It's only people that ask for it. Brit's Nail Drip. Chat revenue forty two dollars, guys. Forty three dollars on the count. This is order eight 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 six. What are we doing here? All right. Pink or baby blue? My choice. I'm gonna do some baby blue because I've done a lot of pink. Race. This is order eight 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 six two. 
I wish I remembered what order numbers we were, so I could say, like, we're halfway through. But I don't know. Judging by this stack, I'm <laughs> probably halfway through. Oh my goodness. I'm never gonna be able to play video games. Huh. $50? Again, you people. Show me too much support. Too much love. <laughs> Holy cow, guys. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? you want me to paint you a shirt? Like, what do you. <laughs> you can't just give a man a day's wage. Thank you, Oikoa. <laughs> we have a new leader. <laughs> Love the artwork, bro. Can't wait to see what you come up with. 8887. Thank you for the compliment, Joseph Man. I'm gonna paint your shirt cool. Naya, thank you very much. You guys are too kind. You can't see me. I forgot you can't see me. Usually I have the camera right on my chest, so I lean down. I'm cleaning my airbrush. You, you can, you know what I'm doing. I didn't just disappear. I'm black is still kind of acting funny on me. Thank you so much, guys. This is definitely the the most supportive monetarily stream we've ever had. Holy cow. Do a quick airbrush cleaning kit. I'm gonna use the. I got some dried paint all up in my my cone. You already know this if you've watched me before, but I'm gonna use my needle to scrape the paint out of the inside of this cone. I know there's a little piece in there. I can feel it. Okay. I think that'll do it. Smooth lines are happy lines. Alright, that's better. You stepped away to use the bathroom and saw a $50 tip, yeah. I stepped away to change a shirt and came back and almost fell over. Um, aside from big tips, I know that it's hard to be like to drop a bunch of money. No, you guys are doing it anyway. Holy cow! There's, I have a Patreon and I have you know, YouTube memberships here. If it's easier to, for you to give like two bucks a month or like five bucks a month or something like that, and you still want to support, like that means a lot too. Because knowing that, being able to know that that will come in, like when the time comes around a month, and I've got a hundred supporters all giving me five bucks a month, like that would make a a huge padding to like know that that's coming instead of only relying on surprise donations which are fantastic thank you like, there's no way to complain about that that's awesome but i know for me it's really hard to, to say anything like this because i don't want to ask people to give me money i think that's 
super generous and cool, but I'm never going to come up here and say, hey guys, uh, please give me money for nothing because I need it. Like, that's why I did this t-shirt sale. Like, hey, please buy a, a super cheap t-shirt. I'll make you a shirt for cheap. That's, that's how I want to make money. I'm never going to ask for that. But statistics and studies and every real person who makes money on YouTube that's like told me from everyone that I spoke to like you have to actually say guys please do this you have to actually tell them that it exists and they're not going to do it without you humbly like you can be a member if you really want to be and I would really appreciate it even the low tier stuff is like actually really supportive Missy not girly would like a crown See, at the beginning, like the first half of these orders, nobody wanted a crown or anything. But the second half, there is a surprising number of people who specifically requested for me to add a crown to the design. Psychology. And stuff. While we're here and we're talking about memberships and stuff, um, what are some ideas for perks that I could offer? Um, I've been thinking and thinking, like what can I actually offer you guys as membership perks that hopefully like wouldn't take a whole lot of individual time per person? I don't know. I don't want to... Maybe that's exactly what I want to do actually. Maybe if I just offer good perks for Patreon pages or something and that would work. What do you guys want to see? What would you be willing to spend an extra five bucks a month for me to do? What can I offer? I'm already going to put out airbrush videos. That's This is the part where my brain gets stuck. Is I'm already going to make these how to airbrush videos. I'm still going to live stream. I'm still going to make all the content and I have a real hard time saying I'm only going to make content for the people that pay me. It's all going to be public. Everyone's going to be able to see it. Even my YouTube like tutorials and the how to airbrush videos is all going to be public. Everybody is going to be able to see it. I'm going to hope that people really appreciate it and recognize it and somehow it is fruitful. But I'm not going to limit it to people. If you want to learn, I'm going to teach you. Um, but like, what could I offer as an incentive to make it worth your time? Worth your money, rather. But whatever. I also wear all my medium shirt boards. Start making edited videos, yeah. Give members early access. Is that enough? Just early access? And also, by edited videos, I make a bunch of edited videos. Just like, I painted this shirt. Look at me paint this shirt. I'm so cool. Haha. Uh -huh. um, but early access to those, is that valuable? Or are you saying, like, access to how to airbrush stuff? Because I really feel like where I'm actually going to start gaining traction is when I make legitimate tutorial videos. Um, this Watch Me Paint a Shirt stuff is cool and interesting and has gained a lot of subscribers, but it doesn't hold attention. I don't know. L-A-I-L-A. -A. The YouTube Shorts. The short format, the under a minute long videos, they're great. They get lots and lots of views. I've got some with over 50 million views. It's really cool. They don't make any money. Um, they just gain subscribers. And those subscribers don't even want to watch the longer format stuff. That's why I have, I don't even know how many I have, 250,000 or something subscribers here. And I make less than $100 a month on YouTube. It's just, there's a, there's a disconnect between, I don't know. They're not fake subscribers, they're real people. But they're subscribers to my short format content, not my content that makes money. You know? Discount on your own merch, I guess. That's a good idea, too. Like, just a permanent 20% off the store kind of thing. Exclusive tutorials, yeah. I'm gonna make the how to videos for sure, no matter what. I like the discounted merch, I think that's a good idea. Even if it's a day early, like seeing the video. 
Okay. I think we got some good ideas already. Um, I like those ideas. I am going to start... I've already started doing this. When I make videos... I have in the past always made one video, the same video, and I post it on all of the platforms. What did I just do? Okay, no. Um, like it's the same video on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Snapchat, it's everywhere. But now I am starting to, over the years, understand the different algorithms, the different audiences on each platform, and I'm going to take, make different videos for each platform that will be more successful on each platform. Because people on YouTube. YouTube people, you guys, like to search for specifically what you want to see, right? Most of my hits on YouTube are people searching YouTube for graffiti, right? So I need to make videos that they can be longer than a minute, right? You're here on YouTube to watch an, a <coughs> excuse me, an actual video, not just watch a quick little scroll through it on your phone deal. I'm gonna start doing that. Look at these things. Stencils. I don't. I get my stencils from Chino stencils. Include stickers. I do need to make some stickers. Free Dale pin. Looks <laughs> like what? All right. Custom merch is the thing that I wanted to. That I've been bouncing around a lot over the years. I've tried it once or twice. Um. You have to draw the line somewhere between merch, is this merch, or like actual printed, consistent, pre-made design merch, you know? Um, I've had a really hard time selling pre-made stuff. I've been good at selling custom stuff all the time, but I have a hard time saying, hey, these are designs that I made by one of them as it is doesn't work as well. That's a whole different type of marketing, a whole different type of account and content. It doesn't matter. It's not the same thing. So if I were to make actual merch, pre-made designs, what would you want to see as that merch? What kind of designs do you want to see? I've got some ideas on the kind of stuff that I like to, you know, my, my style, my aesthetic. But if it's graffiti style stuff, like what does it say? I don't want everybody walking around with a shirt that says Dale on it. That's lame. It needs to be, it needs to have meaning to it. It's gotta be relevant. Two X Baker B A K. I remember Baker skateboards. Sponsored. sponsored by who? I've almost gotten sponsored by a few like airbrush companies. I think I'm close to getting sponsored now. I don't want to talk about it yet. But that's not going to help me. I don't know. Those companies aren't big enough to like pay my salary or anything. It's just like, hey, if you don't make paint, just check them out. They give me free paint, which is awesome by itself. That'd be fantastic by itself. It's not going to pay my mortgage. Merch though, back to the merch thing. Let me read for a second. Merch, merch, merch. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's hard to find like what. Eight, 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 nine. I'm on. It. I feel like that number is no. Eight, 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 nine. What am I doing? Did somebody say something? I don't want to take too long reading these comments. I'm going to set it aside because I feel like somebody wanted me to do something on this one. 8894. Okay, we're not there yet. Not yet. 
I love calligraphy. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Some people, that'd be cool. People would like that. But I have so many different groups of followers, you know? So many different audiences that I can't decide on one thing that everyone would like. It just won't, it won't translate well. The easy way out is just keep doing custom stuff. But then I can never get but so big if I sell the hand everything individually. Valentine's Day merch. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Like seasonal merch. I know a lot of you people. You people. I want to say it like I'm rude. A lot of you guys don't uh, care for this, but uh, I don't care. Some scripture, just like it could be any kind of lettering, but like scripture, scripture, Bible verses and stuff, like just written well, designed well would be cool but it's not like it's it's my stuff but it's not like dale branded i don't want my own brand of clothing that's not what we're doing here girl friday It's a 4X. Blue and green. Lice, laugh, spray. <laughs> Live, <laughs> Live, laugh, spray. See, I feel like two people would think that was funny and buy that. I already have a, sh a shop, what's it called? Print roller, not print roller. Spread shirt. It's here, you can you can go to my YouTube somewhere, my merch and my profile or something, and see the designs that I already do have as merch. Some people have bought some of those. The graffiti alphabet, that is a cool thing. The graffiti alphabets on shirts. I have two of them up there. I like one of them, I don't like the other one. I probably sold five or six shirts. Over the year, I never push it. I never say like, "Hey, go buy some merch." They are there. What number will I stop at? At the last one. Let's see. It looks like eight nine three three is the last one. I'm gonna roll on through. Trust me, I'm hungry. I'm tired. I want to go play my video game, take a nap, need some hot pockets, but I want to keep on going because I said I was gonna. Seems it came in towards the end. You're about halfway through. I'm gonna keep on going. Six mini panels. Mercy. Blue and green. Silent Gloves. Uh, Dill and Zach, go check out Silent Gloves on SoundCloud. This man is on my Discord and bought some airbrush stuff. He's learning how to paint and all that, but he has a history of many talents. <laughs> it seems many different talents. And it's really sweet. Um, he makes some cool synthwave sort of old school music, or at least used to. It's pretty sweet. And Greg, he is a software engineer. Um, a very high up one. You don't know anything about that, do you? He's a cool dude. <laughs> Thanks for the promo. Alright, everybody's saying stickers. 
Everybody's saying stickers. I'm gonna make some stickers. I feel like my tag would look good on a sticker, like by itself. Tail, tag. That would work. There was a journey. See, I started. I started a long time ago. I already talked about the story. 13 years ago, the theme park, whatever, playing stuff. But for a long time, that whole first 10 years, 12, 10, 11 years of it, I've been acting as Airbrush Customs, this company name that I started way back in the day for search engine optimization reasons. Um, plus it was alphabetical, this first one. Um, I was always official. I always said, we do this and we do that. And it was always just my dad helped me for a long time, but it was always just me painting, right? And it just seemed like I was being this, I don't know, it didn't seem genuine. I had a hard time feeling it like it was genuine. So one day, I came up with a plan to transition from Airbrush Customs, the business, to Dale, the Airbrush guy. And I didn't want my name to be Dale, the Airbrush guy, necessarily, but I already had an Instagram following of like six or 7,000 people or something from literally 11 year long Instagram account. And I had to change my name to a name that wouldn't throw everybody off. I couldn't go from Airbrush Customs to Dale without having like an explanation of what is going on here. So I became Dale the Airbrush Guy. Like, you know, Bill Dye the Science Guy. So, I forgot where I was going with that, but that's a little nugget for you. And that's the end of that sentence. Now that's an idea. Graffiti Crocs. Of course you would like them. Smash the like button. <laughs> Smash it. Adult small on the back. Lazy. L-A-A-Y-Z. In script? You want three lowercase a's in a row? are at number 8891. Moving on up. Stickers, flip flops, crocs, beach towels. I think I'm gonna skip the crocs. Here's another thing. Hold on, let me get one. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. I got a bunch of these hanging up in my office. They're acoustic panels. For like, acoustic panels. Um, and you can paint on them. I painted on one of them. This is, uh, what's his name? Dude from Halo, dude. But you can paint stuff on them. I can paint like a graffiti name on them. And like, you just, <laughs> they're not sticky, but I put sticky on them. Um, instead of a shirt, it paints like a shirt. They're about the same price as a shirt. They're like two or three bucks. You could have those. And I feel like those would be cooler than t-shirts. Hang them on your wall. Whatever. It's a better product. That doesn't solve the problem of custom or like pre-made merch. But I do like the discount to the members idea. I had thought about that before and I was, I was thinking that like some people would would take advantage of it, be a member, get the discount, and then leave. But I don't think I don't think people would do that actually. I don't think they would do that. J A Y Z U.
Final Gloves, you're right about these shadows. Um, they do take a little bit of finesse. That will be a good uh, test of when you have developed your airbrush control to a good amount. When you can make these nice solid black lines and then come back and start doing shadows right away. And you know to pull back this much for the line and this much for the shadow. It mean you have to pull back your airbrush from the surface and you have to pull back on the trigger less. There's a couple variables going on at the same time. If you can do that consistently and well, then you're, you're doing great with your airbrush control. I also see a lot of this when people are um, really good airbrush artists do this too. So I'm not like saying it's, it's wrong necessarily. But I see a lot of people painting and when they paint a letter like this, they'll do this and they'll angle their airbrush around to paint. You shouldn't do that. You need to keep your airbrush perpendicular with your surface and move it, tessellate it, not rotate it, you know? Otherwise you're gonna get this weird overspray patterns and stuff, which if that's what you're going for, like a graffiti look or something cool, but it's gonna make a big mess. You need to keep it, keep it straight on. That'll minimize your overspray, give you crisp lines, other good things. Two more youth larges. We got so many shirt boards over here. I need to hire a shirt person. Typically, the title for that job is derogatory. I can't say that on my. Graffiti lanyards. I did do airbrush lanyards a couple times. I script names. These are all product ideas. Product ideas are cool. There's so many more things that I could sell on a website that I'm not selling. Um, I could grow my my business end of things, and I am working on that because I have other artists that I'm working with, and I want to keep them busy and capitalize in that way, and that's cool. But the goal for this year, the goal is like in the future, starting now, is I want to personally stop relying on the business, both of these are on the back, whatever. Stop relying on business and shirt sales. I want to rely on my content creation, which means then I can focus on content creation. You know what I mean? So it also kind of feels weird to give you like a merch discount, but then not be the one painting everything. Maybe that's okay. K-Y-R. I know what day it is. H A R L A N. Thursday. <laughs> Order number we at? We're at number eight eight nine two. 8893 was something, wasn't it? Oops. I forget. You guys gotta remind me. Simpson. Well, <laughs> Rose R. Simpson. <laughs> Rose R. Simpson. <laughs> Rose R. Simpson. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't pronounce your name. It's very simple name. Thank you, Rose. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Y'all are tipping me more than t-shirts are caught. What am I supposed to do with that? Say thank you. Wow. This pile is getting pretty big over here, guys. I really wish I could just paint one shirt at a time. It makes the whole process. Shirt boards. Everybody always asks about my shirt boards. I've made them myself. It's just a. Uh, I use pressed hard board. Nice thin one. Doesn't have to be thick and heavy. Like they're wobbly. They bend. No problem. Um, all you have to do is. I could give you measurements, but like, just the t-shirt is on there tight, but not like stretched over it. Make sure you round your corners so that the shirt slides over nice and easy. But, don't buy them online. You know how much it would cost to ship this? Just go make one. Go cut one out. Okay. On the front, dark green. Include signature. Rose Shi. R O S C H I. Just throwing out product ideas. Dark green. You like my eye? Bonus. Tunes in, love the work. Thank you, Nikki. Welcome aboard to the stream. Guys, I've gotten 12 shirts worth of tips this stream. Did not expect that. I expected to get like a couple here and there super chats. I had no idea if you guys were going to pull one of those on me. All right. 8894. What am I doing here? This is the one. I forget what I'm doing. What is this? Is this the pot leaf? Weed leaf on the eye. 
fine. Fine. Let me Google one real quick. Just so I get the recordings. Uh, oh, okay. We have seven points. Top girl. I gotta get the math. Okay. I'm only doing this because I'm not, I'm not adding on stuff. I'm doing this time because we were early on. We had an early supporter hanging out. Why you li? I used to have a hard time. I used to like always refuse people who wanted pot leaves and stuff. And then I just stopped getting all upset about it. I don't know. Hey, it's not that big of a deal. Either way. I don't know. I see both sides of it. make you a bad person. It doesn't even make you a criminal anymore. So like who cares? How many herb leaves I've drawn? I think this is probably like one or two or like less than a dozen. your luck. Just kidding. It wouldn't have good though. This is what I mean when I was talking earlier about people watching you live stream while they're painting your shirt. While I'm painting your shirt. Whatever. It's like, can you add one of these? Can you do one of those? Can you add one of those? That'd be cool if you did this. I'm not upset. This is fine. But generally it's like, man, like, I, you're not supposed to watch me, man. Just get out of here. I want to do a bottom left drop shadow, but I want to add one purple right here. Boop, boop, boop. Very true. Hmm. Probably some of the safest people you'd ever meet. Nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Thank you for the tip. That's awesome. And the joke. I don't know which one was more valuable. It was the tip. It was the tip. A I A D A I. This is a hard one. A-D-A-I. 
You guys are awesome. The thing about streaming on YouTube is that there's only... Wait, where'd the view cam go? Oh, I got the wrong tab. Hold on. There we go. There's only 50 people. Oh, there's now it's 50 people again. There was like 30 people in there, but it was still the YouTube crowd, the people that are watching here. There's always conversation. It feels like we're a family. I don't know. Like, we're here. I don't feel like I'm just performing for a bunch of people. I feel like we're all kind of chatting and have a conversation. And that just doesn't happen on something like Instagram. It just doesn't, it doesn't carry over. I'll have three or four hundred people watching on Instagram and no one's talking. And here we've had a bunch of conversation, discussion, and philosophy. I love getting to talk about like philosophy while we're painting. I kind of wish that somebody else could join in and we could talk at the same time. There's a lot of logistics to that. I'm kind of I'm always scared to do that, but it would be nice. To not be the only person talking. This is not how I am on like a daily basis. The fact that I'm talking a lot is so different than how I act. It only comes out when I'm streaming here. I just don't speak in this way. I don't use this many words. Dylan, what the heck, dude? tip today. I don't know how much that means from you, man. Thank you, dude. Six seventy one. Numbers are always hard to paint. You can't put the same style that you do in a letter to a number. Oh, you guys. I have a community. I'm having a moment. Give me a second. Did you see my content? Hold on, Tanaya. A minute. We're, you're, you're, you got a minute to go. 924 is at the end of the, of the list. But yes. I'll show you some love when I get there. Also, thank you for I remember you just sent me a tip earlier. Very much appreciated. I recognize. I, I, I thank you for it. I will hook you up. But yeah, guys. Uh, someone mentioned the Discord. Hop on the Discord. There's a link in the... In the hmm. Where is the link? I ran out of time. I was going to add the link to the to the link in the description. There is a link in the description. Never mind. Just go to the description and link it. We talk about airbrush stuff. And if there's enough people, we'll talk about other stuff. It's a good place to chat and give me your ideas. I just use the same airbrush and grab the other one. I would love to have some more Discord people, because that's where the real conversation happens. It's not just one-sided. It's not just me talking. You guys contribute. Um, how can you order a shirt live? Well, tell you what, if you join the Discord and let me know that you're the guy that ordered the shirt, and then we can square away the address and whatnot later. Well, hold on, there's gonna be shipping and everything else. That's a lot. Are you in the US? Um, no, I haven't done Roots for 47 yet. I don't think, what, do you know what your order number was? I'm on order number 
8896, and I'm going numerically up the, up the thing. Eight eight nine six is where I'm at right now. This is for Matty. Matt T. Does he really want me to paint a fish? Trout colors. And then go on goes on to say the body of the trout has large dark spots with oh, pale halos. Sometimes the body also has red or yellow spots. The fins are yellow brownish. You're the man. But he's not asking for me to paint a fish, he's just asking for fish colors. This man is an enthusiast. A real enthusiast. <laughs> Re real. Real. It was, a, it was a joke. I am a father. Holy cow. I just made a bad joke on the internet. Live. Everyone's gonna immediately unsubscribe. Dad. You guys gotta stop. You're going to stop. You're gonna make YouTube and you're gonna get audited by the IRS. <laughs> Holy cow, guys. Alright, so brown, golden brown, with pale hate. There's too much information. Brown, yellowish, reddish, palish colors. I'm gonna do my best to paint this graffiti piece as if it was a brown trout. It's like in the, in the essence of a brown trout. Other spots? I don't wanna make spots. No, I'd be weird to make spots. And put some texture in there though. It almost would have been easier to just paint a, paint a fish on there. Some pale yellow spots. Guys are insane. Look, now I can pay my mortgage and my electric bill. You better stop or I'm gonna have a car payment. I'm not hurting that bad, guys. I'm back, I'm back on track. I believe it'll be there. God has always provided. Sometimes uh, without a whole lot of notice, he doesn't like to let me know in advance that he's going to provide, but he always does. It's always there. And I'm not sweating it. And this time, he provided through you all. And I thank you and him dearly for it. I have the coolest, I have the cool, coolest following. Nobody streaming video games because it has this level of conversation with people. that knows me in real life is allowed to give me money. That's a leg legitimate real rule. You make me feel bad. You make me feel... Well, you make me feel loved. That's what it is. A, I have super appreciated. But like, man. I don't want to do that. Brittany still has first place for first super chatter. Can't take that away. Marie Callie. M A R I E.
notice when I'm doing these drop shadows, I'm just talking to you silent bros, um, I'm not doing the drop shadow the whole way, I'm not shadowing the whole letter, I'm shadowing here, I'm letting go and shadowing, and shadowing there, I don't want to muddy up the letters by putting shadows everywhere, so I want to start and stop in places that it will add to the design, not overwhelm the design. Especially like when it gets real busy in here. I only want to put a shadow there. Which is a lot harder because you have to start and stop and start and stop and start and stop, but it's also a lot better practice. I, had, I did have a carrot for dinner, and then I had a midnight snack of some super good homemade mac and cheese. My own recipe. As in, there was no recipe. I think I already talked about that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you are a meme. I will. I got a. I got a frozen meal. We already talked about the hot pockets. I'm gonna steal Zach's hot pockets. Moon dust. up a bunch of these orders by not adding the signature because I keep on forgetting to, to look Dylan <laughs> oh my goodness what did I just say stop to eat it until I was done. Let me see if I get a quick count of where I'm at. I'm on number 8899, almost 1900, 8900 rather. I have 33 more orders to go. Most of them are one shirt. Some of them are several shirts. Um looking at the stack probably 50, 40 or 50 more shirts to go so I'm like 60% of the way through here electric wonderland tattoo where are we at two hours wow plus there was like 45 minutes on Instagram I told you I'd be here for a while I didn't think it'd be quite this long. 
Electric Wonderland. couple of these orders like this one they actually ordered five of these four of these I'm not gonna paint all four of these right now because that would just be like I don't know derailing and everything but I'm gonna go back and paint the rest of them tomorrow when I'm getting everything ready for the post office which will take like another two hours at least to press all these shirts and package them up Let's see, quick, quick estimation math. I guess I have to include the, the tip revenue too, because it is, you know, from this thing. I think I sold 120 shirts, which is $1,200. And then I sold, I don't know how many tips I got. These tips are small. This tip on this order is is, is four twenty. Well, this one was a dollar. Most of them are real small, so I can guess probably fourteen hundred dollars from actual shirt sales. And then the chat revenue here, which is ridiculous, is two hundred thirty-three dollars. Sixteen fifty is around. Hold on. It's gonna take me total of what five hours today two hours tomorrow it also took hours of setup and hours of everything between this like probably close to nine ten hours for 1700 bucks i don't know i'll make 170 bucks an hour sure i got no problem with this even if i sold shirts at ten dollars each like this was this is an awesome Thank you guys. Sweet. It's all gonna go straight into straight into the, the mortgage payment. Signature on the back. Artwork on the front. Okay. Vibe and wax. I'm just stoked that this idea came to fruition, that it was successful. I've tried to do things with the community a lot of times, and just, it's always flopped, it's never worked. Um, I like to try to sell a merch design, or I'll try to do a giveaway or, or something like that, and always like four people involved, and it never turns into what I want to do. So the fact that this actually came into a thing makes me really excited. I would love to do like a monthly event, a monthly something, not a monthly t-shirt sale necessarily. Nobody would know what to do with that many t-shirts, you know, but get everyone hyped up for the, the monthly, whatever this is this time.
got carried away. Signature on the back. There's one on the back. Go to it small. Don't put it up here. No, I'll put it in the bottom. I'm getting sleepy. Dale, have you ever seen OG Abel's website? No, I have not. 20k. What are we talking about with 20k? I've seen that a couple times. Dale has completed since when? Dude. Um. Ready for some quick math, but Dale, let me let me calculate it. Calculate it. number is surprising. I've calculated this a couple times. I think we're I think we're approaching the 50,000 range. 50,000 future. Which seems insane. It seems completely made up like there's no possible way but i have a folder on my computer which is another video that i'm gonna make um of going through my old work because i have tens of thousands of photos of my work i have painted i've taken a picture of every order i've done since like 2014 or 15 i think is when i started taking a picture of everything but the beginning years the, the four years, five years before that is when I did the most shirts every day, all day long. I have, I have painted that many shirts. Medium, who day? Question mark? No. W is kind of wonky. To me, that's obviously a W. Like, I painted it and know it's a W. But if I really break this down and isolate it, we got a down, up, down, up, down, up. I've been teaching Noah how to write. And a W is a down, up, down, up. We got a, several up, downs going on over here.
this outline that I do, that, that people, the outline, um, is kind of just as important as the text. A lot of people get good text down and then they just outline the shirt without thinking about what they're doing. The style and the flair and the, the spacing of the outline needs to have the same rules as the text does. And that's something I see even very experienced airbrush artists forgetting. They do fantastic text and then they make their design boring. Not to say that this is perfect of an outline, but it's a lot better than what I, I see some people doing. Alright, my music stopped, my playlist ended. I'm gonna restart that real quick. <laughs> How's my battery on my headset? I hope that doesn't die. Oh, got one bar left. Only got one bar. Include signature. Signature only goes on the other shirt, not on this one. A lot of these orders. One of the shirts has a signature, and the other one does not have a signature. I guess it's because one person is a fan of me or whatever, and then they order themselves a shirt, and then they assume that their partner or whoever probably doesn't want the signature. So they don't the signature. Teams love this man, dude. I just got a, um, an email from pretty big. Uh, sorority shirt supplier company type of deal. They make like, the team shirts for sororities all over the country. And hopefully, I'll be able to capitalize on a relationship with them. And that would be dope. We like your podcast with Ralph Kelly. <laughs> oh man, I did do a, I did do that. I did a podcast with Ralph Kelly this week. Was it last week? Nothing. It was Monday or Sunday. No, it was last week. I forgot. Whatever. <laughs> My days have been all over the place. I was on a podcast. Um, while the podcast itself is a great podcast, like in general, and you should listen to it because it's cool. It's airbrush related specifically. Um, I'm kind of. I thought I would be good at it because I talk on live streams all the time, but I was really nervous during this podcast, and. I feel like I did a a subpar job on it, but you can be the judge if you want to. It's on the internet, I can't hide it. I didn't say anything dumb like this, I don't know. It just wasn't as smooth as I was hoping it would be. I felt like it would be the same as streaming and just talking like I always do. And it was different because, I was talking to Zach about this, but it was different because I wasn't in control of the conversation. I feel like I said this. Because right now I can say whatever I want to say. And if I get bored, I can look at these comments and I can say, all right, I want to talk about this now. When I was doing a podcast, I had to answer questions and think about stuff that I wasn't ready to think about, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't directing the conversation. I was on the other side of it. So it made it a little different. I haven't listened to the whole thing. I'm reading some comments. I did do a Melissa 8887 done. Yeah, that's been done. We're at 8902. What made me start doing this? I'm needing dollar bills. Uh, at a high school, in high school rather, while I was a senior. I don't remember. I honestly can't remember. Me and Brittany talked about this because I just don't remember if I was. A junior or a senior? Because it's like, when did I start? How long have I been painting? I don't remember <laughs> when I started painting. Um, regardless, in high school, I got a part-time job with that theme park. I had no airbrushing experience at the time. I really had no... I mean, I had some art experience, but I wasn't a successful artist. I don't have a portfolio from back in the day to show you. I just, I don't know. I was creative. Then I went and applied for the job learned the technical physical part of airbrushing really quick and then the lettering and everything else came from it 
and after spending a couple months one season and then the whole season the next season learning and getting better man i really enjoyed it it's really fun it's it's fun it's satisfying to watch me paint it's fun it's satisfying for me to watch other people paint and watch my own videos it's just it looks nice to like watch the lines come into play it's just as much even more so enjoyable to paint um, really have a fun time doing this so that's why i, I, why I do it Summonaut. Okay. S O M A N A U T. Alright, at some point my microphone is going to die. It's a wireless mic. It's not meant for four hour live streams. I did, Melissa. It was girly. Um, I did put a crown over it. At least one of them. I don't know which one it was. I think there was... Was there... I guess I don't know. If there was one or two. I mean, was... That's not purple. But it was good. It was a good one. Will I go back? I'm not going to go back through the stack of shirts to show them all. But... This is a live video, which you can scroll backwards on. If you want to, you can go back and look for it. You are welcome. Yes, and I will post this video after it's done so you can go back and see it. Oh wait, I need this. This is quite the undertaking. Alright, when my mic dies, what am I gonna do? I have a plan. Hopefully the sound quality doesn't go bad. Go too bad once the mic dies. I might have to take a second to reconfigure some stuff. We'll see. Your choice. I love motorcycles, tattoos, whiskey, and adventure. That's not a um That's not a word. I'm not going to be painting a motorcycle on this shirt. I can't. I'm going to type, you wrote your Instagram username down here, I'm going to write that. Sarah Tattooer. If I could put miles on my airbrush thing, how many would they have? Wow. Oops. Sorry. Let's see. Let's see. The airbrushes that I'm using now are ones I've been using for over a decade. I couldn't tell you which one. I've gotten more over the years, but I've never had to retire an airbrush. Except for one. I did drop one and it broke. I dropped them. Like sometimes, and usually you can fix them. But this one broke in a way that just was not was not um, fixable. But other than that one, these airbrushes have lasted for a decade. They have been doing work. Include signature. I forgot to include the signature. If I could add up how long the lines I've painted are in strokes. I would love to see the stats on that, like how length of paint sprayed. Mm -hmm. 
I bet it's more distance than I've ever walked. Alright, I need to speed up. S chassis. Find Melissa, man, MVP. I'm on order number eight nine oh four right now. Signature. Yeah. Which means twenty nine more orders to go. I think. This is a long name. Actually, it's several names. Red and black are my favorite colors. I used to like red and black a lot. I turned away from... I turned away from red. <laughs> like, it's an, like it's a political opinion or something. Noah says that my favorite color is green, so... I have to say green. Greg Brown. Three ninety nine. Thank you, man. A little coffee to keep me going. I'll just download that on the internet. <laughs> I do have a half a Red Bull over here. I forgot about. By half, I mean one sip left. That's one of the things they asked me in the lo in the podcast. Monster or Red Bull? Why does that matter? When I had the shop in the mall, I would always paint myself shirts for like advertising and fun. I used to do events too, so I would always have a, my shirt on there. But that's back before I was like actually any good. So they're not very good shirts. I was mentioning earlier, I picked up airbrushing quickly from a technical standpoint. 
but the style has something that definitely has progressed over time. You know, script letters are something that I still am, yeah, all of the styles are something I'm still working on, they still kind of grow and change. And that's something that's going to be cool to see when I make the video looking back on all the old artwork over the years, because you'll see my lettering style has changed subtly and you can watch the progression over time maybe I'll find like some points in time where this is where this letter changed where I, this click for me and whatnot. Um, that's gonna be a cool issue. That's gonna be a, from a production standpoint like the hardest one to make. But we'll see. Louie Lover. Louie is our fat long haired orange cat cat. Oh L-O-U-I-E. I love how they had to um, clarify that so that we didn't think that they were just loving a human named Louie. my rules. That right there. Doesn't look bad objectively, but like broke the whole the whole algorithm. That's thrown off right there. I like this um this bluish bluish green color. In Create Texas paint it's called Maui Blue, but there's obviously a bunch of different paint paint manufacturers out there. It's like a turquoise. I like it because you can blend it with so many other colors. You can put a purple right next to it and it works really well. Or you can put a green onto it, or you can put both. Um, it's like the middle of the color range for like airbrush paint is different than all kinds of other paints. It's in the middle of I can do so much with it from the turquoise. I'll use it on this because they didn't specify a color. B R I T T A N Y. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I've ever talked about this. I met Brittany, I met my wife while airbrushing at that King's Dominion shop. Um, pretty embarrassing story. She bought a $16 keychain from me. <laughs> That's how much they cost. Um, and I spelled her name wrong like three times in a row. Because that was dumb. up to the stand to talk to her friend and then her friend introduced me to her or to me or whatever and I turned around and said hey I like your hair and she said I think you're hot <laughs> and then we were dating Missing anything? 
Do not say it. <laughs> Too late. Everybody mute. Everybody already knows the story. And then I took her to Applebee's. A couple days later. coffee cup with five leaf clover on cup. That was not something you were... That's not included. You know better. You knew better. I will do blue and green now. I gotta read these comments. Oh, the organs. I just could not spell her name right. B R I T and I. I kept on B R I T I and I. Bertini, Bertini, Bertini. It's so dumb. I made the same mistake three times in a row. How are these people getting their names on a shirt? I'm putting them there. This was a sale. All right, I have an Instagram account, right? That's where all this, these sales came from. I, long story short, I needed to pay my mortgage. <laughs> so I ran this ridiculous sale and got everybody to buy these cheap $10 t-shirts and told them I'd paint them all live. So we sold a bunch of shirts really fast. And I'm painting them all. That's how that happened. I feel like that was a good explanation of the whole story. Lover is done. Brittany is next. Youth small. We are at 8908. 25 shirts left. 25 orders left. A M I Y A H. I am glad to see all the support. Come on, thank you, all of you. I'm bored. I know you guys are bored. You do car parts. That's cooler. That's cooler anyway. I would like to do some cars. I painted my car. Again, that was back before I was good, though. No? I had a Cavalier that was like... Value was very low. And super old. Manual transmission. That pretty couldn't drive. Um... Man, I'm, I'm almost 30. But anyway, 
It was super old, and I was a kid and I didn't care, so I painted it with a bunch of spray paint cans. My first graffiti mural was on my own car. Brandon, what's up, man? Welcome. Large front gym. <laughs> oh man, Gemini Fitness, but it's spelled different. J G Y. What am I doing? Puns. Good old puns. Out of all these shirts, I'm like 100 shirts in, this is the first capital F I've painted. Oh, we're official. We're brand branded here. Oh, that was sick. I don't like that F. It'll do when it's it's not my favorite. How long have y'all been going? Talking about the stream? Well the stream is two and a half hours long here. It was probably forty five minutes or something on Instagram before I moved over here. This seems like a long time to paint, but I did this every day. At King's Dominion. I wasn't painting constantly every day, but there were days that I did over a thousand dollars in sales. Like, regularly, like that happens regularly. Um, and the shirts were a lot cheaper. Well, I guess that doesn't count here. Can't, they were stupid because they, they charged ten dollars for this blank t shirt. Right? And that was only so that our commission value would go down. Cayman's art. Man, greedy people. Greedy people. Poor management. I'm sorry if you work for Cayman's. I know one of these orders actually does work for Cayman's. Um, man, the first year I was there, it was great. The second year I was there, there was a change of management, and all of the people that were good and had any experience left because that was dumb. I needed a job anyway, and I got all this experience from it, so I'm glad that I stayed and got it done. But, man, I made minimum wage. Painting shirts all day long like this, making them thousands of dollars a day. I mean, wait. There's a commission, but you can't paint enough to get commission. And if you do, it's like, wow, you made ten dollars instead of seven twenty-five. Alexandria. A N D R I A. so far work down here. I feel like this is this is different. I'm gonna do this. Because I feel like it. This just looks like a triangular type of design. Triangles are my second favorite shape. Are you allowed to have favorite shapes? I have favorite shapes. I'm between hexagons and triangles. I think they're both pretty cool. 
Are you going to repost the Instagram video? If not, all good. I, I'm going to try to. I don't know if it's saved. Like, I had a bunch of bugs and stuff. That was the whole thing. The whole reason I'm over here is because Instagram was glitching out on me. Um, so I don't know if it's there. If it is, then yes. And I'll probably somehow edit these together. Or at least link them to each other. So you can see part one, part two. If not, it might be lost. Um, and that would be bad, but can't, can't do anything about it. It's probably in there. They changed the way that they do it. Instagram used to be you have to save it right now or it's gone forever, but now they have a, a live archive, whatever they call it. So you can go back and see your old lives even if you don't post them. As long as it made it there, which I assume that it would continually as the stream goes. Should be good. <laughs> you like a triangle one? See, I want to do stuff like that on all of them. But hey, that takes a lot of mental energy. It'll take a long time. I'll get burnt out. Like, I would get physically exhausted faster if I had to be <laughs> that creative on each one. Um, not that a triangle is that creative. But I also don't want to, like, paint something that, like, obviously a triangle is not going to offend somebody. But, man, why'd you put a triangle on my shirt? What the heck is this triangle? You know? I don't know this person. I don't know. They didn't order a triangle. So there's always this risk of, like, someone not being happy with the thing that you did. And I can tell usually by the order, by the comment, if they leave a comment, like if they're up for creativity. And some people are not. Some people treat this like McDonald's. I want this. Give it to me now. Just like that. And that's fine. Whatever. I pay the same money. Chance you can do a small roots tag on 8887. That's cool. A what? That one was back in the day. That was a while ago. This is another one of those people that ordered a batch. Oh my goodness. A batch of these shirts. Because they were on sale, not because they care about anything else. For a bachelorette party. 90s in New Orleans. Hmm. 90s in New Orleans. O R L E A N S. I had something I was going to say and then I forgot what it was. So I'm not going to say it. Great for paint. Thanks, man. Thanks for your tip, dude. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Spoke art. Yeah, there's a level of that which, like, I am painting custom artwork on each one of these. It's going to be different. I do need to have like a assertiveness when it comes to like I will paint my own style. That's the whole point. You're not ordering a printed shirt. You're ordering a custom made shirt. That will be different. At the same time, um, I know my clientele pretty well, and some of the people. I order shirts like these, don't have a whole lot of... Uh, I don't know what words to use. 
know, you know. Some people are more kind and patient than others. You never know what you're gonna get. But after 50,000 t-shirts or so, you start to understand what kind of people are what kind of people and what kind of orders you can get away with. Some fun on and what ones you need to not play with. Speaking of bespoke, this shirt says bespoke. Explain how you know where the paint will hit the canvas hovering over the shirt. The same way you know where the bullet's gonna go when you aim a gun uh, directly down the barrel of the, the gun. You get used to it, you start to understand. I mean, I'm using this to point at the shirt. It's, I don't have a laser sight or anything, but when I get this close to the shirt, which is where I paint like, less than an inch away from that surface, there's not a whole lot of room for like, I know exactly where it's going right there. On the front, B slash spoke. The hardest thing to control isn't necessarily where it's going to go, right? I've seen a lot of people take the first steps and everybody's saying they, they point it in the right spot. The hard part is getting the right amount of paint. The trigger here that you're using, um, it has this much range, but when I'm painting letters, usually like that much range is about how much I'm pulling the trigger down. So coupling that amount of trigger pull with the amount of distance between the shirt and the speed that you're painting, those are the things that are hard, not as easy to point and shoot. Thanks for hanging out, Brandon. Go enjoy your shows. <laughs> Trust me, I want to turn this off too. It's gonna be a granola bar time in a minute. Oh, it's gonna be. me something to talk about i do appreciate that when i i can sometimes i can tell like someone's asking a question to give me something to talk about not because i necessarily uh, have a question i didn't catch that with yours but uh, i should have thanks for that <laughs> obviously i should have you're ours i forgot who i was talking to nan esther happy birthday nan everybody say happy birthday nan Made it to the big screen. Oh golly, that's a privilege. We got Nana uh, a Facebook portal deal for Christmas. I think I'm. I think I'm on the. I'm on the TV. How much would I charge for a black shirt and a simple white script? Hmm. If it's just white text, it's not too bad. Because it's not like I have to put this whole base layer everywhere. It's just a base layer on the text. It's just writing the script like two or three times on top of itself. It's not that bad. Um, normal price on the website for a shirt is like 25 bucks. These are these are very simple shirts. They're cheaper on purpose. But normal 25 bucks is, is the going rate. I would do that on a black shirt for 25 bucks. And it'd be like, you know, good and stuff. 
Happy Valentino Day. Is this the large or the extra large? This is the extra large, okay. So it's oh, Hanukkah. Is this Hawaiian? It's California, maybe. Names or words that I don't know how to spell. I'm not familiar with. A lot of times you'll hear me sound out the word, like say the letters of the word, even if I know how to spell this word. Um, to get this, these letters visualized on the shirt, I need to put them like in my brain, and that requires sometimes me saying them out loud to get them into different part of my brain to the prefrontal cortex and sort of some memory place and then I can like visualize them on the shirt before I paint them. Pale or light purple like a lavender. Design for reason. Thank you for the tip. Thank you, man. I just I missed it. Thank you. Awesome. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. You guys are leading some conversation. I appreciate that. Come on, man. See, I keep on having trouble with this purple. No, I have since I filled it up. I think I just got some boogery paint. I gotta fix it. So you can actually pull the trigger back, you can pull this chuck nut back, and you can pull the needle back farther than the trigger will pull it back, so you can use that to blow out a booger of paint, and if you're really feeling adventurous, you can use it to actually paint, like if you're doing a fill, or if you just need to do some line work in your air, but it doesn't work right, I'm not pulling the trigger back, I'm pulling the chuck nut back. Otherwise, this whole purple line would have been real sputtery and well. Right. Don't make me keep talking about my experience. Those signature and. This splattery one I did is um gonna stay wet because it's bubbles of drips of paint, not just a thin layer of paint. Lacey, whoa, Lacey Evans, continuing the support train. I love you guys. You guys are making my day. Thanks, Truser Talk Studios. I am really proud of you. <laughs> and they enjoyed it in the conversation. Happy Valentino Day. Valentino Day. But let me know when my mic dies so that I can swap it over. Maybe I can chart it. Let me think real quick. The problem is, it's not a USB C, it's the old micro baloney. I don't know if I have one of those chargers here. Oh, 
podcast. Thanks, man. The first color drop shadow, is it? I guess it is. I'm gonna look over here for a minute for this charger. Oh, no, no. Oh, here's one. If this will reach, it's not going to reach, is it? Actually, guys, I think we'll be okay. Well, see, that's a problem. If I plug myself in, then now I'm not wireless. Also says it's not charging anyway. Maybe it is though. It's plugged in. I'm gonna try this. No, it's not gonna work. I can't be plugged in like that. Hopefully, it just won't die. It's not even a battery I can swap out. It's just a charge. Otherwise, I would have a 9 volt chilling. This is not the right size board. This is also not the right size board. What shirt is this? This is a large. Looking for something else. Did I make a mistake? Uh oh. Large. That's right. Good. I just have the wrong size shirt with me. Or I dropped something? What in tarnation? Okay, I figured it out. False alarm. I made a mistake earlier and it threw me all off. Sorry for the interruption, everybody. We're good to go now. Okay. <laughs> Craig. Never mind, I didn't put a new battery in this week. Shrunk cotton. Yes. Um, these are pretty shrunk Gildan shirts. They're not super thick shirts, they're just standard t shirts. They are the same shirts that I wear. But, like, they're not bad shirts. I just buy plain shirts like this purple one. I'm wearing a purple shirt. This is um, the purple shirt. <laughs> Brittany is, like, always calls me out for wearing the same purple shirt. I like it, okay? Got paint stains in all the right places. It's the purple shirt. See you later, Truzer Studios. Oh, we got a tiny shirt. Hey. This is a 2T. Also, 
Will we ever do a black shirt marathon? Um, I'm not opposed to that. That could be a learning experience for everybody. Um, they won't be $10. I will say that now. First of all, black shirts all by themselves cost a lot more than white shirts. If I offered $10 black shirts and free shipping, I would lose money on everything. This kind of has worked out pretty good because it's given me just a consistent thing to paint over and over and over again, which was the whole point. Like, I don't have to spend a bunch of time on weird custom stuff. I can just keep rolling and painting. It could be a little bit smoother of a process. It's my fault. But if I had someone handing me shirts and helping me do this a lot more smoothly. And I had enough battery that I wasn't panicking about my battery. Um, then yeah, this could be like a consistent thing. I could do this again with some changes. Um, what brand of paint I'm using? Mostly Createx right now because that's just what I have no stock of. But I've used all kinds of different paints. There's so many different paints right here. I got right now Etec, Createx, Aquaflow, um, Trident, Spectratex. There's another one. There's more of them. I'm forgetting the names of them. All of them. I've tried all of them. Wait. This one just says 47. You're real limited what you can do when it's just 47. I assume this is like a, a jersey kind of deal. Brittany get to work. Brittany's not here. She offered. She was like, I can help you do shirts or whatever. And I chose to try to do it myself. They went out of town for Nan's birthday. We already went over this. So I'm here by myself this week for the, these couple days. And I've gotten a lot done because you know I'm by myself in the house. But I realized that, man, I'm I don't like being here by myself. I watched John Wick last night. I've never seen that movie. I know it's a good movie. I just never took the time to go see it. And uh, I know it's not something Brittany would want to watch with me. So I uh, watched it by myself. So I like that's self explanatory. It was good. I understand the dog thing now. I get it. 8928. Small size, the rest for me can add a chef knife, and also a happy boot. No, man, that's, that's, I'm not adding much. I'm sorry, I'm not adding much stuff on these quick ones. Um, maybe a chef knife. I'm, I can do a chef knife. I've been painting for five hours, for four hours, I guess. And I got another hour on me to go here. It's a ten dollar Cayman's Art, this is the one I was talking about. For Carl Hall. Cayman's Art. The community of employees at Cayman's Art. The artists themselves. There's a great community of people. It's really cool. Um, wow, man. But. I guess I can't speak on any more than the small amount of experience that I have. So. I would have done things differently, which is part of the reason I started the company, my company, is because I wanted to do things differently. I actually went back to work at Cayman's a couple years ago. Me and Brittany both just, like it was off, it was, I don't know. 
I don't want to say we got jobs because we were bored, but like we had a little extra time and like it was fun working at Kings Dominion. And we went to get jobs. And like I already had a good following and good business, and like people kind of knew. Like I, I'm not a celebrity, right? But in the airbrush world of people, a lot of people know who I am or whatever. And they just, they just crapped on me. I came in there and the interview was like, the whole intention was like, I'm going to come in and I'm going to help get this shop back to what it used to be. Like, things have gone downhill a lot since, since all of your, your experience, people left. I'm going to come in and I'm going to help and everybody just, like, they were mean to me and they hurt my feelings, okay? keep it at that. They told me to go into the middle of the street and start hustling people. And I said, okay, I'm going home. And I left right there. shirts on the heater. I'm not doing that right now because um, well, because I don't have a I don't have a conveyor drive. I have a heat press, so I'd have to go and unclamp them after 20 seconds or so, and I wouldn't be able to juggle that while I'm doing everything else. So tomorrow I will spend an hour and a half, two hours <laughs> pressing all of these shirts, getting them ready for the post office, packaging them all up. I, hope, I don't even know if I have enough like nailers and stuff. I forgot about that part. I got to make sure I had all the shirts and enough paint and everything. I haven't filled, notice I've painted probably 100 shirts. I haven't filled up one bottle of paint. Then I wonders how much paint you go through. I still got probably a third of my black paint, which I've used far as most. Paint cost per shirt is just irrelevant. Soli Deo Gloria. say it means glory only forgotten but the capitalized gloria is that just somebody's name i don't know what this means i might, might need to mean anything glory to god alone that's what my brain says but it's probably not right Yes, 8918. Are you counting? I need to hire somebody to um, put, put like a ticker on the screen. Thank you, Ashley. Hey, you are counting. ordered a shirt. Is this your shirt? It is Ashley's shirt. I, I did not have put this together that that's what this means. Or I knew you were. Oh wow. I like how I was like, Greg, what does this mean? 
<laughs> I guess it does. Ah, oh, coincidence. That's great. Birthday girl. That's fun. Oh, dude. I should have known by the smiley face with the nose. I'll change the color. Give me a minute. <laughs> what color do you want it to be? Because I can actually change the color. Or I'll paint you a new one. If I knew that, I would have. Okay. Birthday girl. This one's getting pink for sure. doing drop shadows in a different color. I do it in black usually because it's convenient from our old color, you know. But I mix it up a little bit. Pink and purple here. Okay. <laughs> Retell us all what panel backing you use. This guy right here, this is um it's just a piece of plywood. I there you can use different types of wood. I use something called pressed hardboard because it's thin and light and you don't really need a whole lot of like structural support you just need something that's going to keep your shirt front and flat while you're painting it um, and I cut it with a jigsaw myself and it's good enough to stretch out your board some people use like foam board and like project foam boards or whatever they're called but I don't like those because they get nicks in them and stuff and they start to Bend and you put a little bit of pressure on it to crease and then And they're actually kind of expensive. Those little foam project panels are like two bucks or something and they're going to break really quick. Material cost on this is probably four or five dollars, but it will last forever. These are the same boards I've used for again 10, 12 years now, just like my airbrushes. Not masonite. I do have some that are made in the masonite. Um, I got, I got an OG one, a good one. Here it is. This one is masonite. It's heavier. It's thicker. It doesn't bend as much. It's unnecessary. It's just too hefty. It's not hef It's not too hefty. Like it works fine, but it's unnecessarily swole. Um, it, had, it ate too many carrots. It's got too, got too strong. This pile is dwindling, guys. I can see the end of the tunnel. Eight, nine, two, one. Fourteen orders to go, or twelve, depending on how you do your math. Angelica. I wish this was in script. I want to paint more script. I, I like this urban style too, but script is flowy. It's faster, easier. It's definitely easier when you have multiple words to paint to do it in script because I can just you make them play together nicely easier. I don't know. I think we got a good... What do you guys think? Uh, I think we got pretty m close to half and half script and urban is what I call this font. I don't know if urban is a good name for this font. That's what they called it back in the day at the, at the shop. Script, I hear what you're saying. Uh, script was a daunting thing back in the day because you do have to make it consistent. It's gotta be nice. 
nice and parallel and even and your ascenders and descenders have to match up and like it does it does uh, require some precision well, like i was saying earlier once you get that precision down you'll be flying through stuff no problem it's good to have a couple different uh, tricks up your sleeve i guess to play with spacing it's gonna be hard to show you until i get another script shirt or something i might be able to but like if i know that i'm getting running out of room or something then i can use a smaller version of a letter or if i know that i'm gonna have a bunch of extra space at the end i can use a letter with a big tail or something that centers the sh design on the shirt um, you can do that with other fonts too but it's easier to do it with script because there's so many different ways you can do stuff e-r-i-c-k I like doing urban where my letters are leaning different ways. This E is leaning this way. This one goes this way. This one's kind of straight up. And then you got here and here. Um, with script, everything's parallel all the way across. But you can kind of fill in your gaps if you start like actually giving each letter a little bit of a character. What's next? Man, another group. I thought we were running up towards the end. Groups to go. It's a big one. You gotta cook your big ones and we'll get away from you. I can't believe I got $257 for the super pet one scan. Leah the Barber. All one word. Black drop shadow again. I'm a man, I'm a creature of habit. Sometimes intentionally, it takes intentional thought to break out of that, and it'll do you good. If you ever get bored painting, or get like in a, in a rut where you don't know what to do next, you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again, whatever, just pick a letter, pick your least favorite letter that you do, and just find a completely different way to do it and it's going to be unnatural and weird for a minute just paint a couple of that letter and just have a whole different style about it and you will learn something
clips. Use the clips. Yeah, use the clips. Hand style. Yeah, I can just call it hand style. I was talking about the urban funk. I guess that makes sense. I try to find a name that's not just like relevant to the graffiti community of the work, but I do have to remember that I'm dealing with consumers that don't know what they're talking about. Ooh, clips. So I try to find the middle ground in my nomenclature. 3x for Renico. TSDs. Not many people like TSDs. They're notorious. D's I like. No problem with D. T is probably my least favorite letter too. Renico. R E N I K. -S. My K's. I do like K's. C O is, for example. I could have just had a little O. Or I could bring this over here and round it out. And then K's are sweet because you can just kind of do that with the top of a K or an H or whatever. I'm going to leave the underline off of this one, I think. What color do I want to use? Teal is what they said. Where's my teal? Remember to add purple. Is this the one? Add purple on Aquarius Brat. Is this the one you want? I don't remember who's who with what. Yes. Let me know. I will add purple if this is the one I just forgot. scary ones where I know someone's watching me as if no one's watching me anyway um what do I want to do here I don't want to put this dark purple oh okay I need a new playlist of music because I'm using epidemic sound as a platform, which is fine, but I can't shuffle the music through their playlist. I could download it and play it locally, but I can't shuffle it without doing that. So I know what order the songs are coming out, and then just it's in my mind before the the last one ends. I can I already played this tune in my head here. Every song is like that. It's old. It's been like a year, over a year. I've been using this playlist. Youth. 
M, which goes on my small size shirt board. Sonic the Hedgehog colors. Is it blue? Blue and red, red right on his shoes. Mostly blue. Marshawn, gosh, Marshawn. I need to add some paint. This is the first time I'm filling up a bottle of paint. Notice I don't highlight script or urban, not today. Um, a lot of times I'll highlight script. I rarely, rarely highlight the urban letters. Um, but I haven't, I don't like my highlights on script. I haven't found a way to consistently do them in a way that's realistic. So like I can put light at the top of every letter, but that's not necessarily like, I don't know. It would define the three-dimensional space of a letter that's not necessarily defined. And by putting highlights on there, I have to define it. It just takes a lot more work and forethought. And sometimes I'll, I'll accent it and stuff, but I'll do it on this one. I'll put highlights on this one. M-A-R-S-H-A-W-N. Also, you put highlights on your letters, you almost have to thicken everything up, which takes a lot of time. And I try to do my letters in one stroke, as you see, set up a bunch of strokes. So if I was to put highlights on this, the easiest thing to do, what I usually do, is highlight just the A senders. Which R is not supposed to be an A sender, but mine is. Just the ones that are up there. But like, I don't put it at the end, just because it's the end of the letter, like it would be up here. And then you're like, okay, well why didn't I do these? And you end up just highlighting everything, and it's not realistic, it just looks like a bunch of weird light spots. The other way to do that is to find a line in the middle and then highlight everything up from that point, which kind of works out as well. Maybe I'll do that on the next one. Sonic the Hedgehog colors. That's going to be blue and red. And white included with that. Nice. No signature. Good. I forgot the signature on the other shirt. I'll go back and add it. shoots have some stripes like that. I'm trying to remember. Sonic was cool, but I never had a Sega growing up. So I rarely got to play Sonic. That was like a my friend's house type deal. Alright, let me add the signature here because I forgot. It's nice heat pressing these when I'm done too, because it takes all the wrinkles out and it looks super nice and smooth.
sculpted by red. Hey, is this? Thank you. Tanaya, this was something. You wanted something. If Tanaya's still here, anybody remember what she wanted? 8924. All one word. I can't fit all that on one word. I can. I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be small. longer names you can't just do a circle of iron on anymore you gotta come up with something different this text is a little bit too small for me to want a shadow not because I can't do it but if I do do it it'll look really I'll do it just to show you it'll look like super crowded and there's a way to fix that I'll do it because I can show you As I'm shadowing this, it just looks too busy to me. There's too much going on. Even though you can see the black well, and obviously there's contrast there, your brain is like, there's a lot, I can't see it. Um, fix that just by like evening out that red tone at the bottom. And now, all of a sudden, it's way easier to read again. Gotta keep it small. Like that's. You got a bunch of words on a shirt. That's where I gotta be. And it is what it do. I do what it is. I'm like, what's the what's the thing? What it do? Come here, Leah. Extra small. You. Hit it with a white eye light. Is this your shirt? Tamaya. I see you. You're back. Yeah, I'll do some white highlights on it. Let me do the other version of them so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, I do a real soft line. Mostly, I do this a lot, like without actually painting. You'll see me doing this. I'm not actually making a line. Kind of like muscle memory. But I do a soft line, and then from that spot, my air holes clog. Been painting so long, my paint drying in my bottles. A little fade up from there. because it's always the same height, it's really consistent. And then you can go back down on a couple of the higher ones if you want to. It's real subtle. It's easier to see in person, of course, and with bigger letters. But I add a crown to the other shirt. That's what you wanted. The, um, Micaiah. Yeah. Absolutely. M K A Y K A I Y. K A I Y A.
chrome letters. Chrome letters are fun. Um, you gotta do them bigger. That old school chrome, where uh, it's always like blue and brown, because. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever feel like your drop shadows are too busy, just fade the bottom of a little bit and it just brings it everything together. You can't do that if they're black drop shadows, so it's something to keep in mind. Red man, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate the compliments. I wouldn't call myself a master yet. Pretty good at laying out, laying out uh, simple text designs, I think. But there's a lot of my art career that has not has not reached its full potential. So we didn't talk. We kind of talked about this. We bounced around some ideas, but I forgot to mention this uh, part of those ideas. I want to do another one of these kind of things where, like, we all painting a bunch of these or, or whatever. But I want to find something that I don't have to ship because there was this big barrier where nobody in the international waters wanted to buy these things. Actually, several people did. Many people did, but they paid fifty dollars for shipping, and that's not on me. That's just what it costs to ship. Like I'm not, I'm not charging extra on top of that. Shipping is ridiculous overseas. So much more than it used to be. Uh, it's just impractical to to ship a single T-shirt across the ocean. Is there something we can do? that I don't have to ship. Like, maybe if it was a lot cheaper and you just got to watch it and then you get a picture of it, maybe I'll make some NFTs. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds kind of like overkill. I am set up to make NFTs. I do have, a, have one. I'm going to make some more. No. Oh, camera is frozen. Can you still hear me? I do see the cameras for it. I'm gonna stop and turn back on. I don't know if you can still hear me. Okay. I'm working on it. We'll get it straight. Everything else is good. Actually, damn. Hold on. Twenty. My phone's probably just mad at me for being on for this long. One ninety two to one sixty eight to eighty six.
not wasting time. My phone's right there. We're back. We did it. I guess my phone just got mad. Right. I know it doesn't look like we're back. We are black. <laughs> black. We're, we're back. Hi. Welcome. Where was I? A new order. Where, what order is this? What's your order? This is the youth large. This is Lucy's. Simple, but sometimes simple is good. Can hear, can't hear, can hear. But the volume is the same as it was. Thank you for the compliment on my letter E. This episode is brought to you by the letter E and the number 7. Chiron. 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 I want to thank you all for not swatting me today. Frozen's still here. You must be behind in the um, stream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I know it. <laughs> Yeah, this, based on the chats that are coming in and thinking back to when I said those things, there's like a solid minute or two delay between reality and your reality. 
The question is, are you living in the past, or am I living in the future? What is the past and the future? When it's both present for us. Revenge, somebody is getting serious. Say something, I'll respond live. Um, what do I say to respond live? Vengeance is mine. Revenge. Oh, that's a lot faster. Yeah, it's also possible that you can scrub back and forth on a live video. You might not actually be watching it all the way up to date live, and a lot of people are behind a little bit of time, accidentally, and they're watching like three or four minutes ago. They don't realize it, and they're responding live, and I see their comments, but they're actually not watching the most up to date part of it. Artist choice, can you do a lime green black one? If, oh, if I have artist choice, lime green black one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. I forgot to do the cool thing I was gonna do. Now I'm not gonna tell you what I did until it's time to do it. I typically don't like the colors red and purple together. Um, it is a common color sh sh scheme that people ask for, but I try to make it work. I feel like it's fine, but personally, I don't like these colors together. I don't like blue and red together either. Honestly, I just don't think I like the color red. Oh, I should do one of those old glitch. They call them different things. The glitch effect, where like you have the center point, and then you have like some blue this way and some red this way, like echoes of the letter, if that makes sense. Well, thanks for hanging out, man. If you're leaving, dude, have a great night. If you're not leaving yet, then still have a great night. Alright, we got some artist choice coming up. I can do the colors. Adult medium. Where's my mediums? Pro tips, um, adult large is the most common shirt size, extra large and large, not very close. Medium is kind of like not as common, usually just jump from small to large, which is strange, at least in my experience. Let me turn this on, and this off. Asian mob. <laughs> okay.
looks good in real light or in the, in the black light but in regular light it's gonna look really plain so I gotta add That's a rude boy. <laughs> Does it? Right, I'll turn it back on. Special feature on your shirt. If you go to a uh, you know, um, your roller skating rink party or bowling party, even you're gonna have a cool shirt. Buddha blessed. Nick the tip of my airbrush on the shirt and get it caught like that. Then you gotta go back and you gotta do something to, to fix everything. choice. Pick the right colors. Okay. Medium is for men and small is for female. These are all smalls. Oh wait, are they smalls? Oh, this is the order that I got confused earlier. You guys don't know anything about this. When I was lining the shirts up, I was confused. Alright, I get it. two different colored drop shadows like this. You got your first airbrush store in Winston-Salem. Um, I don't think the airbrush tips vary based on your location, but any suggestions for doing on? Okay, if you just oh, you just opened your first airbrush store. I thought you said you first bought your first airbrush. Tips for doing online orders. Well, to be quite Francis with you. I really don't want to tell you how to get online orders because that's kind of my thing. 
um, but I will anyway. You need to learn how to build websites, and you need to learn marketing and search engine optimization. And you need to develop a huge following on social media, and you need to do all of that before you make any sales. Because the sales won't come until you do that. Or you can pay for ads, but I've never had luck paying for ads. The best thing you can do right now, if you have a physical shop, is open up an Etsy store, because it's free and easy. It's not free, it's very, very cheap and easy. And start building a library of designs on your Etsy store. The ones that you like, see what sells and what doesn't sell. And build up a clientele of people and develop. At the beginning, what you need to do is develop real relationships with people so that they keep coming back. Treat them very well at first. Treat them very well always, but go the extra mile and impress some people. And then they're going to come back and they're going to tell their friends. When I started my business, I was the only airbrush t-shirt store outside of Etsy. Etsy didn't exist. Shopify didn't exist either when I started. Um, and there were other, I wasn't the only airbrush shop, but I was the only one that was like updated within the most recent decade. So the only reason I was successful is because I could, this is supposed to be a men's shirt was because I was able to build my own website and spend hours and hours and hours on search engine optimization and all of that and I built the website from the ground up. Now the market is so saturated with online orders that it'll be very hard to start a new proprietary airbrush t-shirt store with the current competition. Which is not just me. Long story short, go open to Etsy. And tell your people that come into the shop that they can order on Etsy so you can start getting some business there on Etsy. The problem with Etsy now is that it's also super saturated and you got a really, really, really low volume prices to get any sales on Etsy. So good luck, he's saying. Oh, you boasty is a good thing. Can you add a chef knife? Which one am I adding a chef knife to? That's all I'm say. That's a lot to ask for right now. a lot of the shirts, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for ordering. Do a lot of motorcycle shirts and leather jackets. See, that's cool that you do something other than just basic t-shirts. If you're doing something like leather jackets, something a little special, like that can sell a lot better on Etsy, but it's going to be way harder to make your own website for or something like that. Um, in that case, I really would push Etsy and check into Amazon Handmade. It's not quite a mature of a platform yet. Start with Etsy. Just go start with it. You could do that in in one full day. You could have a good established Etsy store, assuming that you have some product photos already. B O R I Q U A. First lowercase Q. We only did one other capital Q, it was Queen. How many hours are going on? It's been four, five hours or so. Nineteen. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're probably like five or six shirts left, I think. It's hard to count when they're in a stack like this, but we're almost there. You guys have been 
I did not imagine anybody would be holding out for this long. Can you? This has been a four-hour stream, not even including Instagram. And I'll, several of you have been here for many hours of it. I don't even know what time it is. Probably like it's 11:30 right now. That's alright, I didn't know how long this was going to take. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it all in one day, or what I would, when I would stop if I had to. I made it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. That's my wife shirt. Father's been doing it since the 80s. James Brown. It sounds familiar. <laughs> you guys have been here the whole time, man. Couldn't ask for more supportive people in my life. Bay Area. I don't have very much experience painting on leather, leather, leather in general. I do have some special paints for leather, but I haven't got to actually try on leather yet. They're good for jackets, they're good for shoes and hold. I haven't done it. I've always avoided painting on shoes because back at the mall shop that I had, the type of shoes and artwork that people wanted on shoes and the price they were willing to pay for that artwork versus the price that they paid for those shoes was out of proportion. It was not fun to have discussions about. They're waiting in line for getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning, coming to the mall, waiting in line for hours to go buy a pair of $400 shoes, and then they come across the hallway and they want me to spend hours of time painting their work, and they're like trying to haggle me for a $40 paint job. And I'm just like, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not doing this. Being rude with me. Not the type of work I'd do. All right, that was a five-shirt order. Holy moly! I need to be nice. I feel like I'm being grumpy. Stop being grumpy, Dale. It's because I'm hangry. That's what it is. Truthfully speaking, I need a burrito. I had something better to do with the P's. I've seen people do these groups. I'm not gonna do that loop. I don't like that. I can't, I don't like my version of it. I've seen it done pretty well. Truthfully, I don't have any problem with any particular letters in my graffiti font. I feel like I've gotten a good. At least, like, I don't have the weird, awkward, like, tall, wide T and short stem. Like, I found ways to, like, make all my letters fit within each other real well without having a problem. But when it comes to script, I think, is when you, like, have a weird combinations of letters sometimes. Because I want the same, I'm a stickler for the same level of composition that I put in the graffiti pieces. Symmetry and, like, balance. Um... I want that same thing to go into all the designs. Sometimes it's harder to do that on the simpler lettering styles. You don't have as much room to play with things. I haven't done a signature in a while. I hope I haven't just been forgetting. I paint mostly 
It's like I guess it's a license plate too. I wonder if the Omni 3000 was always owned by Badger. I don't remember. I think there was a story about that. Like it was... Oh no, Thayer and Chandler. Thayer and Chandler used to manufacture the Omnis and the Vegas. And I think, I uh, could be wrong about this, I'm pretty sure Badger like bought Thayer and Chandler. Somebody fact check me on that, I think that's right. Jaime Rodriguez got me on the Badgers. Back when I was um looking to finally like like start buying my own airbrushes for the first time, I had a couple cheap ones, but then I like, was like, all right, I need to get a couple more. I looked up, like, all right, what airbrushes are there? And obviously, there's the Iwata or something else. Iwata is expensive, and Jaime was using Badgers, and he had the best script lettering out there that I was aware of. So I was like, hey, let me try that. And I love it. And I've tried Iwata since, and I 100% prefer Badger over Iwata. They're also cheaper, which is a plus for me. Since I have like 30 of them. Guys, two more shirts. Two more shirts. I think my mic's gonna make it. Eastwood. I have no idea how I'm going to end this stream. Usually I'm like, I'm going to just talk about this. Actually, no, I don't. Usually I end it really awkwardly. It's going to be the same thing here. I'm going to be like, bye, I'm eating a burrito. Actually, it's not a burrito. It's like a... What is it? I forgot what I actually... It's not Hot Pockets. I forgot what I actually have upstairs. Yeah, the Omnis are where it's at. And I have... These are the 3000s, I'm not going to get out of the box. The Omni 4000 is the same bottle, same airbrush, but it's got the cup instead of the, it's the gravity fed version. It uses the same tip, same needle, same body, same everything except for the cup. So all the airbrushes that I use are all compatible with each other. I have a bunch of spare parts for these that will fit all of my airbrushes. And it's really sweet. Um, consistency is good, especially when you're learning. Like. All your airbrushes are working the same way, feel the same. It's real nice. Goodbye with Dale shirt. With Dale shirt. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I would. I will. Yeah. That's a good idea. I wanna do something. Oh, this is the one, the last order that came in that, I guess you weren't here because it was on Instagram, that didn't have, they didn't type anything. There's no, there's no name. This isn't even the right size shirt. She wanted a different size shirt. Oh. <laughs> it just says, I would like a shirt, please. No information. But she jumped in the stream and she was like, hey, y'all emailed me. Didn't respond. Told me what you wanted. Dylan Wood.
wouldn't take a surprise shirt. Ooh, I should get a shirt. Yeah, I should do that. Full disclosure, Oiko is my dad. The one that tipped. Ridiculous mind. What is this supposed to be? Alright, Layla. L E I L A. Pink and. Berg. L E I L A. What size is Dylan? Probably a large. He's tall. L E I L A. I don't know. It's hard to. I don't have tall sizes. Too wide. That's why I didn't want to make somebody a shirt. I don't know what the size is, I guess. He wears big shirts anyway, I'll paint large. Pink and Berg. I'm gonna do Burgundy for the outline. Three hundred dollars an hour with the tips. That's kinda true for painting, but the amount of time that I put into putting this thing together and the amount of time off camera that was required to just get everything ready for the stream and that I still have to do and add you gotta at least double the time like I had to develop custom web pages to make this happen on the website that I had to build and grow over the last decade like I didn't just pop into $300 an hour real quick um, This has been a, a decade-long project to get to where I am right here. But yes, this is a fantastic place to finally be at. This is super sweet. I can't believe the amount of support that I've got monetarily and just conversationally and everything else through this. It's been way more than I expected. Thank you, guys. I keep on saying it, I can't say it enough. Thank you for just being cool people. It's really awesome we got to hang out like this. I'm so glad this project didn't just flop on the ground and I painted 11 shirts on a stream and said, all right, good night. <laughs> I'm glad it, like, it, it worked out. It's been awesome. Being cool is my brand. <laughs> Yes, it is. I, I cannot complain about the money at all. I'm super stoked. This has been a huge blessing. Um, definitely not complaining about the money. Stoked about the money. But this is a once in a very long time opportunity. Uh, it's not always like this. Remember, I was a. <laughs> I needed to do this because I didn't have any money. So. Not because of my irresponsible spending. Partially because of some of the responses, maybe. But I had to get the studio straight. Okay. Thank you for sharing this content, Delon. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna just use a large, I think. For Delandro's shirt. What should I paint? While I go get a shirt, tell me what. Just. Just his name, Dylan? Just Dylan? That's the classic thing to do. Proud dad at that. <laughs> Greg, stop it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I've made enough money. I gotta paint my Koa shirt, too. I'm gonna do two. Two larges. That's the most common size. Like I said, that's the most common size. I'm gonna get a brick wall. Everyone's getting a brick wall. Sweet. I love it. No, I'm not going crazy. I've been painting for five hours straight. I'm going to paint a graffiti name instead of a tag name. It is going to be cool. Though. All right, so the graffiti letters are the same urban hand style letters that I've been painting at their core. The whole design is like the same bones my blue is not working well, it's hard to see that. You'll see in a second. Um, and then, you just put an outline around those letters. And you like, 
have some more fun with them. See how the letters are actually the same letters? The only decisions you have to make are which letters overlap other letters to maintain legibility and improve some style. him before. That man wears tie-dye every day. My music stopped. I can't be having my music stop. Alright. We've officially gone through the playlist twice in one stream. It's the two-hour playlist. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the shading sample here, but we're still gonna do it. brainstorm something um, intentional to paint on some like a canvas or whatever we'll come up with a cool idea and we'll we'll paint that I'll make a video of that too just be content um, I'll paint you something that you'll actually enjoy and appreciate spend some time on it it's fun I want to check back and make sure things are legible it's graffiti, so it's not supposed to be perfectly clear. Like, you can get this, add some style to it, but... I still... I feel like I have my letters like this. That's a little weird right here. I took Smo's, um, well I didn't. I signed up for Smo's graffiti class, and then I got so busy and we started moving and all this stuff happened and I didn't actually get to take the class. I signed up for it and I was like, didn't do anything. But I talked to him and he said, it's fine, we can, I can take the next one. His next one is an unplanned shout out to Smo. If you want to learn graffiti letters, he can take you from wherever you are now to better than you are now. Um, with his class, I'm sure he'll, he'll start posting it again. A good class. Okay, I will call you tomorrow then. Greg gotta make you something too, something uh, better than your pink shirt. <laughs> I'll make you something else. never done this before, I'm trying out a technique. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to take too long, not because I don't want to spend the time, but because I know everyone was trying to like stay to the end and then like surprise extra project. Black light, that's not gonna look good, but if blue I used, that would've been a good idea. Yeah, it just looks dark. Sorry, camera. That's what I was saying earlier, that when I paint in black light paint, I really gotta use some forethought and plan the colors. So that they look good in both both wavelengths of light. Some colors will show up bright under black light and dark under regular light and vice versa. So you gotta like plan ahead and know what you're getting into. Looks dope. You haven't seen nothing yet. Just kidding. I don't know. Hopefully it looks good. These are fun. See, I would love to do a long stream of painting these, but ten dollars wouldn't do it, man. Because you'd get so many of them, it would take twenty minutes for sure. And, uh, it's better to just paint these as actual orders. This is the kind of stuff I like to spend a bunch of time on, like twenty minutes on, twenty thirty minutes. Any more than that, and I start losing attention. My my attention span is weak, man. I start losing interest. But 20, 30 minute shirts like this, I can get enough detail into it that I'm happy with it. I feel like it's done, and I don't have to rush through it. It's like a fun process, and it doesn't have to be shirts and canvases or like other stuff. You know what I mean? 